Not sure who's doing this, but it's kind of funny. Neat idea. These penguins are metal cutouts. I think they're metal. They might be plywood. But uh, <laughs> they just appear randomly around town. And then a day or so later, they're someplace else. And whoever cut them out, it's kind of a neat idea. Lily? Lily, are you spoiled? Are you a spoiled girl? <laughs> Today is supposed to be my last day feeding cows. He's supposed to be back from Mexico today and uh, home on Monday. Today is Saturday. Been feeding them every other day. Uh, <laughs> but things kind of fell apart. His tractor quit working. I think it's the uh, neutral safety switch, but I don't know. I had a guy come out and look at it and thought it was fixed this morning. Last time I ended up having to do this too. I'm uh, I'm chaining on to it with a cable and dragging it over into the field with my pickup. But I uh, had a guy come look at it and he thought he had it fixed. And this morning when I turned the key, it cranked over about a half a turn and that was it. So <laughs> I have to drag it down the road, through the gate, and then into this lower field. I don't know. I can't get across the creek. So I guess I'll have to hope they don't get through the gate when I come back for another bale. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad he's home because I'm getting a little tired of this and I'm starting to have problems. So, here we go. I've been feeding them on that side of the creek and uh, I got one bale over there they haven't figured out the rest of the hay is over here but the problem is is this uh, ice shelf that's probably a little over a foot tall I could drag it into the creek but I wouldn't be able to get back out and I'd probably get my truck stuck too dragging those bales across so they're on this side over here, which <laughs> I haven't fed them on this side before. And the little calves, I guess they shouldn't have too much trouble getting across here. It's not real deep for them, that more than I can do with my pickup. They're wondering what the heck is going on. They haven't figured out there's hay on this side yet. But Cows are like water. Once one or two finds it and start to trickle across the ditch, the rest of them will find it. Got them fed with a small amount of difficulty. But got uh, counting the straw bales. I got four bales here and one across the creek over there. Come apart a little bit on the road, but I guess that's just the way it is. So with a with a little bit of luck, I'll be done feeding. He's supposed to be home today. Or supposed to be back in the United States today and home on Monday. Today's Saturday. So hopefully I'm done. <laughs> we'll see. So one of the nice things about round bales or these big uh, big square bales is that 
you can't pick them up. They're those hand bales, two string bales, the three string ones were really terrible. But uh, they're heavy, they're awkward, they're not very big. You gotta load and unload a lot of them. These round bales and big square bales are much easier as long as your tractor will start. And if, <laughs> if the tractor doesn't start, you might be in trouble. And uh, today I found out that it wasn't going to start, last couple of times anyway. So, in a way I'm sort of glad it happened because I've never fed them this way, just dragging them into the field with the with the truck and kind of nice to know that I can if I have to. So anyway, it's just a, just a real quick video, hopefully the last cow one, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.